Hey everybody, how you doing? Out at the range with heavy metal today. This is about to be a really fun video, but this one, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to enjoy. But here's what we're going to compare. 22 mag versus 22 LR versus 25 ACP and talk about these little mouse guns for self-defense. So there's a whole lot of people running around with these in their pocket. This right here is a NAA North American Arms Black Widow. It can shoot 22 LR and it can shoot 22 mag. We got two cylinders for it. A lot of people carrying those around in their pockets. And then we have my Beretta. I already forgot what this is called. Beretta model 950 BS, which is a 25 ACP. And I personally have carried this one in my pocket quite a bit backup gun what have you or going somewhere where you don't have a bunch of clothes where you can conceal easily but we're gonna shoot this 22 mag 22 LR and then 25 ACP now the main difference is the 25 ACP is a center fire a lot of people say oh rim fire is not good enough for me to you know count on and protect my life well you know what 99% of the time it's gonna go off, so that's up to you. But the ammo we're shooting today, let me show you. Here's the, the 25 ammo. This is some Fiocchi 50 grain out of the 25 ACP. Then for the 22 LR, we're shooting some of the CCI mini mags. And then for the 22 mag, we're shooting some normal hollow points. So 50 grain in the 25 and then 40 grain in the 22s. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to point blanket into this ballistics gel. I think this is 18 inches of gel. I'm pretty confident that's enough to stop all three of those bullets. But we're just going to do a real life situation. Put this up like you'd be firing it for self-defense. See if we catch the bullet and see how far each one of them go. But should be pretty cool. Let me know in the comments down below, do you carry any of these calibers for self-defense? If you don't, I don't know, maybe this will change your mind. I absolutely think carrying any of these would be just fine uh, if you needed to save your life. But hey, let's check it out and see what happens. I'm going to start with the 22 LR, then do the 22 mag, and then do the 25 auto. We'll see what happens. All right, first shot is going to be the CCI mini mags out of that NAA revolver here and I've got the slow motion camera running over here so hopefully we can have some sort of idea what's going on all right here's the 22 LR just about point blank and I can see we definitely caught the bullet right about there. So I don't know if the 22 mag is going to come out or not. It looks like that 22 LR went through about 16 inches of gel. But this 22 mag I got also is a hollow point. So that may or may not make a difference here. Here goes the Norma 22 mag. Get it on the right cylinder. There we go. Norma. 22 mag out of this NAA Black Widow. Hmm. Looks like we caught that in the jail too. Maybe a smidge further. And this is some full metal jacket, 50 grain. Let's see if this goes all the way out the back. Hmm, I can't tell what happened there, but let's uh, bring the camera around and see if we can find those bullets. All right, so bringing the camera in where it's in the sunlight real good. This one right here, that is the 22 LR. You can see it went almost through that whole gel, 22 LR. And it actually made quite a significant little wound cavity there at the beginning. So 22 LR is pretty impressive out of there so far, and that was a full mail jacket. 
Now let's come over to the other side where I shot the 22 mag. That's actually more of a constant wound channel where that 22 had a big wound channel. This one was just kind of smooth, a little bit bigger there, but then actually stopped right there. We'll get the bullet out in a second, but I don't see the 25 um, ACP, but you know what? Actually, there it is, guys. It's right there. So the 25 ACP went through the same amount of gel as the 22 LR. So that's pretty interesting. Let me put this camera up on the tripod and we'll cut them out real quick. So, get where you guys can see what I'm doing here. So the 22 mag went the furthest, then the 25 and the 22 LR went about the same. We'll cut this 25 out here first. So, there's the 25 full metal jacket we shot went through roughly 16 inches of that gel now let me find that 22 real quick there it is right there on the side and there's the 22 full metal jacket kept its shape went through exactly the same uh, amount of gel as that 25 ACP and then let's find that 22 mag like I said that went through the furthest almost to the edge of this probably 17 inches of that gel and it was a hollow point but I don't know that it expanded and nope it did not so there's that 22 mag hollow point not enough speed on it to make it expand but it did go through about one more inch of gel compared to those other two. So, hey, let me uh, let me know what you think. But really, all three of those out of those tiny little short barrels, where'd I stick that other one? Performed just about the same. And that 22 LR honestly had the biggest wound channel, believe it or not. I would not have guessed that. But let me zoom you in on these real quick. There's the different bullets out of, after we pulled them out of the gel, the 22 LR, 22 mag, and then the 25 auto. But the 25 and the 22 went through about 16 inches of gel, and the 22 mag went through about 17 inches of gel. But thanks for watching the video today, guys. I thought that was super interesting results. Honestly, didn't know what to expect, but if you want my opinion, any one of those, you know, those little bitty revolvers or the 25 it absolutely is good enough to get you out of a pinch you know if you can i might try to step it up to a 380 or 9 millimeter but hey if you need something to conceal you're going somewhere where you gotta have something tiny hey i absolutely dig them i can't wait to see that slow motion footage in the gel you guys obviously got to see it but that'll be cool when i get to edit it but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you carry any of those? Did any of that change your mind or surprise you? I think it all kind of surprised me, really, because I didn't know what to expect. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Heavy Metal channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo!